I was suddenly overcome with an urge to get rid of the cans that were on my desk. I satisfied the urge. Hello. Hello, hello. Lost a whole REM cycle? Nah. I suppose. The beast inside. It's time for the beast to enjoy the unrealist engine. It's the unrealist. Movie games. Hmm. Continue. However impossible it may sound, Nicholas's journal helped me crack the Soviet ciphers, but my joy turned out to be short-lived in an unexpected turn of events. I had to track down a spy and try to find any hidden bugs along the way. This is how I reached the ruins of an old inn, where I stumbled across another collection of Hyde's thrilling memoir. Excuse me. Oh good, I don't have to listen to my shitty wife tell my shitty self that I'm shitty. Shittily. Just a couple of shitty people. Uh, oh, game. Whoa. Load in, please. Holy shit. No. I don't want to do that. Z. When your favorite spaces, you cut all the names of hidden here. Numbers correspond to individual people you see at Disney and Green Mountains. Try to free the strangers closest to accept the challenge. No. No, I will not. I will not. Easy, Edel. Thanks very much for the 14 months. Appreciate you. Hey, Zeus. Oh, I see the numbers now. I was so... so focused on switching games last time, I didn't see the numbers on the circle. Or it didn't register. One of the two... Oh, damn, look at that landing. Nice. Alright, so... Oh, this is still here? Oh good, I can't interact with it, thank fuck. <sighs> Could have been bad. Oh uh, yeah. I need to search the office thoroughly. What? That's what I'm doing. Bingo. Can I open this now? What the fuck? How did I spin the... I saw the handle spin. What? Oh. I'm confused. What is this? I know I need to search the office thoroughly. Excuse me. Excuse me, I'm streaming. Please stop making that noise. Very annoying. Deal night, thanks for the full year. Bitch. Professional or not, he must some traces in the office. Some traces? Hmm. Oh, hello. Watch out for sparrows. Read. Watch out for sparrows. Oh, that's it. Hooray! Well, what my wife. You? Don't leave the house and don't let anyone in until I come back. You're leaving me again? Are you crazy? The sheriff is on it. Let it go. The sheriff doesn't know what he's dealing with. If he really is who he says he is in the first place, he won't help That's right. anything. 
That's right. Don't be paranoid. The police are on our side. No one's on our side, Emma. No one. What? No what? One hanging around here. We've got to get him before he's off the radar. Yeah, no point in hanging around here. He knows that very well. Maybe I'll find another signal outside. It's just my wife. I just hope I don't lose the trail. I can't see anything with my naked eye. But maybe the localizer will help. The sheriff probably went for the bridge. That's where I should start looking. This dude is like... This dude's half a step away from Ethan Winters. Beep, boop, boop, boop. There. Cross the bridge and hold up in the woods. What? How? Oh. I know which way he went. You already kind of figured that out, right? Five at property. I'll check the area around the bridge. I... Yeah! We got it! Anomalies detected. Or not. Hmm. Beep, boom, boom, boom. So a mushroom? No, that would be on par. He's a step away. If he was a mushroom, he'd, he'd be just about the same. The signal is stronger. I'm getting close. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Where are we going? Ah, the, the, the trapel, of course. Me? Me? Oh. What? What? Oh, I have a pickaxe now. Ha ha! Oh. Uh. Can I. Do I have a pickaxe? I do. I. Okay. I allowed it. I tried that before. It wouldn't let me. Maybe I can find a side passage. Oh, a side passage. You mean like this pile of rocks that I can pickaxe? Oh, look at that. <gasps> Fuck this game. <laughs> Fuck this game, dude. David, Emma, me, and my parents. And the movers. Who else knows our location? Someone from the office. Did, did Emma blurt it out to some friends? I don't think so. And I was cautious. I didn't leave any trail. Fuck, why can't I crack it? What? Crack what? Oh, this is a nice area. Wow. Hmm. Pleasant. Why can't I crack it? Chat room, why can't I crack it? <laughs> mm. Do 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 do. Just fucking... Yeah. What? How... I'm sorry. What? Where the... did these wires lead? This... That's not how electricity... Oh my god, I fucking hate this. One down. There's more. Dude, this is reminding me of shoving a fucking bolt into a fuse box. It's conductive. Whatever. God damn it. Why? Why? <laughs> Party! Go, beefs. Excuse me? What did you call me? Ugh. 
Uh, yeah, beef. Uh, Second one done. I think there's just one left. Hmm, how very smart of you. Get out of here. Get out of here. You need to get out of here. Good. Nachos. Ew. That is... Oh, there's a G. Okay. Good. The off-brand Doritos that surely existed in the 60s. Excuse me, this is the 70s. I'll have you know. Ah, yes. The game's favorite form of puzzle solving. Boards painted white that must be peeled away. Ooh. Nearly ate shit. This character is so stupid. I don't like him. I don't like being him. <laughs> ah, yes. We've turned off the three juices. So now we can unjuice. Very good. Well done. Excellent. Excellently done. Check what the localizer has found. This game goes between, like, holding your hand like a little child and just, like, expecting you to do the most random, bullshit, asinine thing. No in-between. The pathing, if you will, is very... turbulent, I would say. Beep, boop, boop, boop. Is this the Talos Principle? I wish this was the fucking Talos Principle. That game was fantastic. Annoyingly difficult at times, but fantastic nonetheless. Ooh. Le Cabine. Is this one of the places the man in the past ran through when running from the big scary wood wood chopper man? Hello? What? I got caught on nothing. I got caught on big old nothing. Please tell me you saw the new emote in the Discord memes and edits. I did not know. Follow him some more. What? How? What? Oh, I see. I understand. You don't pay Tom Servo enough? I don't pay Tom Servo shit. Barb pays him enough. I pay him in laughs. Y'all get paid? I do. Mm -hmm. I'm Patty's Tom. No, you're my Globo, Not bitch. Lights, I better be careful. I better be careful. Good. 
Bye bye. I don't think the game liked that. Hmm. What could it mean? Anomaly detected. Can I shoot through the window? That'd be cool. No, this game is dumb. I feel like I'm shooting the the crawlers from the Matrix, or whatever they're called. What are those things called? The scary rubits. What? It is. Sentinels, yeah, 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 Okay. <laughs> I also hope that the key with the giant tag that says cabin in capital letters opens the cabin down there. That is that is also my hope. Let's see what he's hiding there. Let's see what he's hiding there. All right, what am I looking at? What's this Discord shit? God, that's actually fucking fantastic. That's great. I love that. Is losing an instrument? Paddy Paddy? No. I'd probably name it like Bunga or something. Had to lose. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I would never give you idiots that kind of power. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, just let me walk, you fuck. I knew it. He's here. I knew he was here. I saw him here. Am I really scanning this shit again? No. Okay, good. Good lord. I must find out how to open that goddamn basement. That goddamn basement. That fucking goddamn basement. Okay, so I'll storm in and give the I'll storm in. Everything. I just hope his English is better than my Russian. I really hope that this is all inner monologue, right? You know? Motherfuckers, they know everything about us. Everything. Fuck, they've been watching our every move. Even here, where we were supposed to be off their radar. Motherfuckers. Adam woke up at 5.21 a.m., even though he couldn't get to sleep until late at night. Emma got up at 8.40 a.m. They had breakfast together. When she asked him if he slept well in the new house, he lied and said that he did. Actually, he sleeps five to six hours a day, sometimes less. It's not the only thing he's not honest about with his wife. Emma doesn't tell her husband everything either. Both claim they trust each other completely, but that's not the case. These days you can trust no one, not even yourself. Ah, yes. A late 70s circuit board. Ah. Ah, yes. As you can see. Microelectronics. Yes. Wait. Are we the baddies? Oh, God. Oh, 
All three have safely arrived. Does this motherfucker know about our unborn child? This motherfucker? Eucharist, three minus one. All right, where are my Christ crackers? I better check what this lever is for. Yeah. What? How? Oh, it's this. Very cute. Very cute. Love them crackers. Yeehaw. Jesus, saltines. She you. Thermochromic pigment. It has something to do with temperature. What is that son of a bitch up to? What is that son of a bitch up to? A found something under a plank when he took boxes to the attic. What he found is more important than he might think. Sometimes looks like he's afraid of something. She was the one who insisted on the move. He talked to D, but he has no idea D was a contact somebody to once told me. I hate this game. I'm excited to play more. He doesn't know what my actions mean. He doesn't understand why I'm doing all this. He thinks I've got bad intentions. She thought something happened to him, called for help. <laughs> In critical moments, it's easier to expose someone's true intentions. I can see and hear everything. No detail can escape my notice. The Cold War isn't just about nations. It concerns individuals, too. The Iron Curtain still stands between us, but soon it will be raised. Soon, my pet. Soon it will be raised. The relays on the map. It seems I've gotten rid of them all. So we have been bugged all along. Fuck me. Fuck me. Motherfucker. This fucking fuck fucker. Fuck me. Fuck. Fuck. I can't wait to immediately go try and put my gut tells me someone has written something here. I can't make it out. I can't make it out. Hmm, have to unravel. Mm, book on encrypting. Someone's marked certain pages. I don't. I don't care. I'm gonna try and... I'm gonna try and absorb as Maybe little as possible. Ew, what the fuck? Why? Why would you have this? What? Why would... Why? Three. Ah, A3. I see. D2. Aha. Of course. A3, D2. Mm -hmm. Sizzle. It works. I'm starting to make out the letters. I am? Couldn't they have just made it look more like a C? C1. A3. D two A D Wait, no C D A Quick. Oh. 
Okay. B4. Target. So, C, D, A, B. Kadab. Is that shiny? Is that a shiny picture? Lost. I wouldn't be so sure. Did he mention the copies? Should have thought about that before. He already knows more than we wanted him to. The handler is concerned. We've got a serious conversation ahead of us. Who's behind all this? Since when have they been doing it? If they had me exposed, why didn't they just steal the telegrams before? Yeah. And what the fuck do I do with these letters? It is shiny. The fuck? Right? Or is that just the reflection? Oh, it's just the reflection. Great. And how does this get me in the goddamn basement? The fucking basement. The mother fucking fuck. Hearing good things about the new Mario Party? I actually played for like five hours with some pals, some streamer friends, earlier today. Which is why I'm streaming so late now. Uh, if you want to go check the VOD, it's actually super duper fun and works surprisingly well. Secure the entrance with a cipher. The wires lead inside the house. You secure yes. the entrance with a cipher. The wires lead inside the house. What? No, they don't. Oh, yes, they do. The basement door. Where can I get the password? The door is locked. Enter the password. Uh, what do I do? I left click. No, enter C D A B. Oh, oh. M. So, M, C, X, H, maybe? What the fuck? Get me out of here. Get me out of here. What is it? A is three, D is two. Yeah, C, D, A, B. Yeah. C1 D2 A3 B4 Wrong again. If I can't find any clues, I'll never guess the password. Oh, do you do A, B, C, D by the letters? So it would be three, four, one, two. Mm, yeah. So R, H, Q, Y. Ah. Finally. Now I can go in the basement and deal with that fucker. Yeah. Time to go in the basement and deal with that fucker. I'm here, fucker. You fucking fucker. Motherfuck. Fuck. Been playing this video game, man. Fucker. You fuck. Fucking fuck. Fucker. What the fuck, motherfucker? So much blood. What's happened here? Doogoody. Let me just put my phone on vibrate. Ah! Uh, oh! Slaughtered. Like an animal. Fuck me. I don't get it. Who could have done this? And why? Fuck me, motherfuck. Fucking fuck. Fuck! Who could have fucking fucked? Luckily you didn't destroy them. Fuck. What? Is that an... Is that an ice? The shit? 
Oh, that's supposed to be a plastic bag. Oh, that's terrible. I find Guess you got COVID blood. even though I'm vaxxed? Something well, yeah. Followed me. Getting vaccinated doesn't keep you from getting COVID. I'm sorry, you have it. It just keeps you from needing to go to a fucking hospital for it. I hope you feel better soon. Turret syndrome. Fuck the fucking fuckers. Fuck. You fucking fuck. Still super sucks. Yep. Finally made it to the mine, but something followed me. Sure it wasn't human. I lost it on the way. At least I think I did. I need to forget about it. Can't waste time on delusions. That's what they told me after all. Father detective, the mine. Hopefully I can find up yet. Whoosh. Yeah, not dying's cool. Big fan. Big fan. Dying? Not a fan. Not dying? Pretty big fan. Okay. Is this... Is, is one where I am? What? Levels. One. Oh, I don't get it. Okay. Wait. Maybe I do. I don't. Lucky for me, I know where to go. 613. <sighs> One out of three, huh? Okay. Hello? What? And on top of that, Please! Oh my bread god, bread this shit just bread. does not work. It's terrible. <laughs> oh, minus one. Wouldn't hurt his own interests. What? Why are you talking? Who are you talking to? Stop. Is it gonna be a spooky ghost? Is spooky ghost time? Are we telling Patty about the stuff he missed? I missed stuff? In this game? Oh, I couldn't give less of a shit. I'm playing this game because I paid for it. I just want to make that clear. Uh, okay. Hop, 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 hop. Wait, where are the Roman numerals? I forget. Uh, tab. Notes. 613. Key. So, right. And then back the way I came, and then top left? What the fuck? Okay. Six. I'm doing it. One that the dead man had written about. He was right. What in the fuck? What in the what in the hell? What the fuck? Oh, there's three. Ah, three to my left. Came out of two. Give me that. Give me that. Fuck that shit. Get that fucking shit out of here. Fucking fucker. What the fucking fuck? Fucking shit fuck. Saw your ad about looking for a missing John Norton. Maybe he's in prison. Swear to God Almighty, I know who's responsible for his vanishing crime in the mine where my husband died. Went to the sheriff, told him all about it, and scoffed me shit. I was seeing things from all that grieving. I'll tell you everything face to face in my house, cause that's the only place I can feel safe. When you learn to hide secret, nothing will ever be the same. They were hiding it well, but I seen it. I seen what creep out the night from fucking fucker shit. Fuck. Fucker. Uh. Am I allowed to? Okay. The 
fuck do I go? Ah. One. Aha! There. The light is green again. That's right. I don't know how you figured that out, but okay. Yeah. Need to go to three. Boogie. We. Ugh, God. Ew. <gasps> Take care not to be heard or seen by the ghost. You'll move quieter while crouching. If the spirit sees you, run and hide. Okay. I need to go. Maybe it would tell me where Gilman left the other notes. Yeah, maybe. You cannot see me. What? Nine, seven, eight. was accidental. After all, the mine brought in more income than in, which often remained empty. However, the detective didn't have hard evidence. Yeah. What? Really, dude? I'm not here. Hey, I made it through the wall. Oh. Tiny. You are dead. Enter. Okay, I have to click. A ghost seems out of place here. I expected a more generic monster. Like from fucking Scooby Doo or something. Bitch. Is it over here? I don't remember. Uh, no. I went the wrong way. That's 11. That's 10. We're nearly there now. You're green again. Oh, I forget the code. Uh, seven, eight. That's eleven. What the fuck? love that they made it so that you have to fuck up the puzzle. That's great. <sighs> oh good, I'm back here. Back to nine. Seven eight nine seven eight. Oh, okay. 
How do I just fucking end inspect, dude? It's a different fucking button every time. <laughs> Let me go. Oh. End! Fuck! Okay, well, <laughs> turns out I was supposed to go back the way I came anyways, so... Oh well. Wait, what? 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 Well, hold on. Wasn't it 978? Yeah. Am I dumb? Uh-oh. Yo, buddy guy friend. Thanks for the 31 months. Appreciate you. You were right. You were. Chronic killed it on that GDQ run. Yeah. He shown up dead. Thanks, buddy guy friend. Welcome back. He shown up dead. Fine. Seven. That's twelve. That's where I fucked up. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> uh, amazing. Alright. Ew, that looked bad. Eight. Other side. Love it. Love it. <sighs> uh. Uh. I appreciate that, werewolf. Number three. Oh, wait, I need to find the last note. So turn around. Okay. And then, oh my god, every fucking button. Seventeen, thirteen, fourteen. I already forget what I said. <laughs> 17, 8, 14. Got it. 17, 8, 14. 17. Shut up! I say 8? What the fuck? Hold on. 8? Seventeen, thirteen, fourteen. Thank you. Lee Mao, dude. So seventeen's back the way I came. Thirteen. Fourteen. Alright. Got me. <sighs> Nothing like a shitty stealth section, dude. You gotta love it.
17. Did you get Samus Returns to not run like dog shit on the emulator? I didn't do anything. I just downloaded an emulator. And it worked. It just worked. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, fuck, I don't remember what the name of the emulator was. Emulator. I don't remember the name of the emulator. Sh something. Give me that. Small skeleton. It must have. Been a woman. It must have. Wait, what? Why do I have a an arrow? Madeline. found Madeline from the hotel. It's this screaming lady from before. Nice. I did it. Yeah, Citra. That's what it was. Thank you. Yeah, it's just Citra. Ran fine. I don't know what to tell you. What? Oh. Hmm. What the fuck? Oh. I see. Ah, this is good. This is good fun. She shot with a crossbow? Yeah. What? The fuck? Oh my god. Oh. oh. This really does feel like shitty amnesia. It really does. And I already think amnesia is shitty. A normal player might be wincing at the falling and the hurting. I was wincing at the frame rate. How much does this game cost? More than zero dollars. Ah, it's the frozen man. 
Oh, what the fuck? God. I think he's still alive. I got no heart, bastard! I'm fine after that. Is it really that bad? No. But it's not. Defeat Gilman? I have to run. If he so much as touches me, I'll freeze to death. What? He already touched you. you okay. Well, that's a fun little bit of information I didn't have before. Oh, there comes a spooky ghost. What are we gonna do? I did it. Ooh, platforming. Ooh, it looks like I chose wisely. I can see where Resident Evil Village got its inspiration. Does anyone remember who Gilman is? I don't. Oh. oh. What the fuck? Oh. It wasn't zero dollars. Mister, you sure do know a lot about ghosts. My pickaxe, what have you done? Golly, mister, you sure do know nothing about ghosts. Holding hands. Thank you, Father. I love I you. I told you to get out. He's gone? Oh, he's not. I admit, 
that was a cool cutscene. I liked that. I liked that a lot. It wasn't worth that entire segment, but I did like that. That was really cool. That was dope. He just... That was, that was neat. It's, it's a game full of shit, but if you sift through the big pile of dinosaur shit, you find these little, little gold nuggets. Little gold nuggets, and they, they make you smile. Oh, gold. And then you realize that, yeah, corn. It's corn. Yep. Yeah. My search for the intruder has suddenly turned into a nightmare. Emma claims that I was lost in the woods for six hours. To make matters worse, someone broke into my office and stole my telegrams. While following the thief, I ended up... Party. As I was saying... While following the thief, I ended up facing the terrible truth we've been, we've been watching. Party. Excuse me! Been watched for a long time. The Soviets, they know everything, every detail. This whole thing is getting more and more complicated. I'm starting to think that Nicholas did not, in fact, lose his mind. He, too, was stalked by... Someone on the wing with his every step. Ica serve! Thanks for the four months, and Robotnik, thanks for the two-monther. Welcome back. Good morning, good morning. First time chat, four months. Love it. You love to see it. Where? I do. Where am I? Oh! Fuck! Oh, this is... Well, how do I get out? Is this the well in front of your house? It's not a very good well. How come all of these wells are so, like, shitty? Like, aren't you supposed to... Aren't you supposed to dig down to an aquifer? Isn't that what a well is? It's not just, like, a giant pit in the ground. Right? Like, am I insane? I think I'm gonna puke. It's not just like a giant fucking cylinder. Look at Patty thinking he's a well expert. What is, what is the purpose of this? Prison? I, what? It's literally a prison. Uh, get the shit out of here. Doink. Hell yeah. What, you think I'm done throwing rocks? Hell no. Get that shit out of here. I got more rocks, baby. <laughs> I played football in college. Oh. I wasn't starting. Are these... Is this bottomless? Hold up. Game design, ladies and gentlemen. Game design. <sighs> that is that is a very, 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 very inconspicuous way to idiot-proof your game. Good lord. You dig below ground water level, and water trickles into the ground water level is lower than the well, I think. That was close. Well, look who's a well expert! Uh-oh. This motherfucker can jump off of, like, three-story buildings and do a fucking tactical roll 
he falls five feet onto a patch of wet dirt, dies. <laughs> it's literally like right there. Boink. All right. Attempt number two. Slick. Oh. Oh, I thought you. All right. Climby, climby. Oh, I actually have to climb. What happened that made me have to go to the side of the well again? Fuck, the plank is oh, gonna break. Fuck, the plank is gonna break. Fuck. 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 Fucking fuck. That was fucking close, motherfucker. Oh, fuck. Fucking fuck. Fuck. Is Scary Masked Man gonna be? No. Ah. Uh, what the hell is that? Why was it so shiny? Why was it so shiny? Oh, that's why. Did I just unlock the handcuff with a car key? Let's get back to Emma as soon as possible. I must get back to Emma as soon as possible. I must get back to Emma as soon as possible. I woke up in a well next to a headless corpse, had to cut its hand off, and nearly died climbing out. I must get back to Emma as soon as possible. There's simply no time. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're telling me I'm about to hack this shit down with a machete that I have in my pocket, but I had to pick up the bu- Okay. You could have just, like, not put that there, right? Like, it could have just not been there. Maybe there could have been a backpack at the top of the well instead of a car key to unlock the handcuff with all of my things in it. Thus making it worth having to pick up a fucking bowie knife to cut off the dude's limb. But no, I have a fucking machete in my pocket. I could have just... <sniffs> Gone. You can feel the emotion. Can you feel the emotes? I must get back to her as fast as I can. I must get back to Emma as soon as possible. Ah, yes. I know I'm going the right way because the elastic... The elastic wood. So pliable. But not too pliable. Just pliable enough. See, if I was in the well, that drop would have killed me. fucking game, dude. Uh-oh. A womanless flashlight. What could it mean? Uh-oh. Did a fucking giant throw this water wheel? What? This doesn't make sense at all. Nothing makes sense. Who did it? What? <laughs> I'm fine. Everything's fine. Oh. Oh, is that the light reflection in the puddle? Mmm. Good. Patty's going as crazy as Adam. Maybe I've left the. My wife alone and there's a maniac on the prowl. Am I the baddie? <laughs> is it me? Am I the baddie? Something's not right. I left my wife alone, and I'm realizing this after waking up in a well with a headless corpse. I didn't think about this as I left and told her to stay the fucking home when there's a maniac about. Emma! Was... Emma! Where is she? Emma! Emma! The piano! It's scary! 
Emilio! Swear to God, the Mighty Duck Man himself. Can you feel your husband? Oh, oh, no, that's not like how this? you do a hug. Yeah. Tell her, you dumb fuck! I hugged you, chat. That was a hug. You ready? Here's a hug. Do you feel like you're hugging me? Stop before you can. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have left. Did you meet the sheriff? Ooh, I smell bad. No, I must have missed them. I found the telegram still. And believe it or not, the diary I told you about? Diary? Nicholas's diary. It'll help me decode them. I just need to find remaining pages and then... You're doing it again! Someone wants to kill us, and all you're worried about is work? Why don't you think about me? About our child. I do think Why don't you change your fucking clothes? We've been here for months. You smell worse than I do. And I was in a well with a dead body. of the utmost opinion that people that make video games are robots and have no idea what humans think or feel at any point ever. It, it's the only possible explanation. It's the only way that there are so many games like this. Sorry, I've been gone all day and a psychopath wants to kill you and everyone else. All I want to do is decipher the codes. Wow, my, right, my wife's really on edge, huh? She needs to calm the fuck down. She needs, she needs to calm down. The only possible solution is to find the cipher. How come this is here? Is this here from when I, wow. I think the game saved me throwing that on the ground. I am weirdly and disappointingly impressed. What am I doing? Emma's on edge. She needs to calm down. I'd better check what the sheriff was up to. Luckily, I've got his car keys. I do? No. 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 Saucy Racer, you have to pay a thousand channel points to ask me that question. You found them by the well prison. No, th that was a... I picked up the key, and that unlocked my handcuffs. Oh, my God. I unlocked my handcuffs with a fucking car key. The sheriff was the well. Don't you understand? Police report. Alright, what's the sheriff up to? Plaintiff's name. Emma Stevenson. Plaintiff. Second degree burglary. Tuesday, August 28th at 4.12pm. Eight minutes early. The police station in Wyndham received the phone call concerning a supposed second degree burglary on a private property in Blackstone. The caller, who said her name was Emma Stevenson, claimed that while her husband was away, an unidentified trespasser entered the property and punctured the tires of Mr. and Mrs. Stevenson's car. Actions taken. I arrived at the spot at 5.03 p.m. Upon preliminary examination, I can confirm with absolute certainty that the tires of Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> 
The tires of Mr. and Mrs. Stevenson's car were indeed punctured with a sharp tool. Footprints left in the mud indicate a man. I will talk to the owner, and then, after further examination, I will try to put down my conclusions in a summary. That's good of you. Additional comments. The house that Mr. and Mrs. Stevenson now live in has a very eventful history. In the 1850s, there was... In the 1850s, there was an accident in the nearby mine, and at least a few people went missing in the immediate area. When a body of one of the missing people was found, accusations were made against a certain Jacob Hyde, the mine's co-owner, who happened to live in the area of the same house. <laughs> until you... <sighs> Sheriff is just a local history buff, even though he's from a different fucking town here to no one cares this much. This is why the sheriff died. Give me that. Examine that from an uncle from the KGB. What? Oh, yeah, that's... Yep, that's my boy. At risk of embarrassing myself. There's two patties! I can't believe it! <laughs> I am so happy that I have the ability to have fun no matter how shitty something is. Except, except for Visage. That game is fucking garbage, and I couldn't handle it. What's this? Let's step inside the car. In the late 19th century, the Hyde family, in order to avoid further association with the accusations against Jacob Hyde, legally changed their name to Stevenson. What? What the fuck? Am I supposed to believe that my family and the Hydes are one in the same? One in the same. That's absurd. Somebody would have told me. Stories in our family history. Somebody would have told me, even though we changed our name to hide it. Unless it's bullshit. Bullshit invented by Jeff. He's here to set me up. Me up. Mess with my head. Fucking communists. These goddamn Soviets. Fuck. Fucking fucker. Fuck. 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 It seems familiar. But I don't recall where exactly I've seen it before. Definitely somewhere in our house. Golly. Are you sure? While searching the Hyde family estate, the sheriff and deputy found a hidden room located directly above the office. Inside the dark, there's Jacob's teenage son, Nicholas Hyde, cowering on the floor. They were unable to communicate with him. The boy does not react to any stimuli. Perhaps he has fallen into a stupor as a result of abuse from his father. Young Hyde has been placed in care of the psychiatrists who will decide on further treatment. The sheriff has issued an arrest warrant for the few could... Five hundred dollars. Holy shit. Another secret. A hidden room in our house. A hidden room? I have to check it out. That fucker could have even been there when we moved in. Too bad I didn't know about it before. Do you think it could be the room that you couldn't open in the attic that's above your office? Is it... Is it possible? Could it be? Maybe it's below, behind that wall that was bricked over. Maybe maybe it's that room. Do you think it could be that room? Gates of Hell. He do be pointing. Come on, come on. Okay. This is it. I just need a place to disc in the opening, just like in the picture. What happens at night? will be judged in daylight. What stays hidden in the dark will be revealed in full light. Solve the riddle. 
close to the fireplace. Oh, this is this is gonna be great. I can't wait for that. <sighs> Fucking goddamn, dude. Really? Gates of hell. Jesus points at the gate of hell. I don't get it. I don't think I want to. I kinda want to. What? What? Oh. Okay. What? Oh. Aha! Uh Eighteen sixty four AD. Right. 1864 AD What? What? I can't move any... I don't... What? What? Please just do better? No! Alright. You're done for the day after MP. Well, I'm a man full of surprises. Alright. Don't make me do this. Do I have to do this? I don't have to do this, do I? Right? Fuck. Jesus points at the gates of hell. 1864 AD. Number sequences in random. Uh, I see. Okay, hold on. Where'd he go? Yay! Hoorah! Looks like a set of dates. Let it end, man! Fuck! Fucking fucker! Fuck! Fucker! Fuck! I should have clicked the I just want the story option at the beginning of the game instead of a even mix of puzzle and stories because I didn't know I'd have to decipher some goddamn ridiculous codes 1773 plus C and look at this again 1773 uh, uh, plus 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 uh, oh what huh oh I can't move it now Oh, oh, oh. Oh. E is C. So this will be E. Am I a genius? I am a genius. 1823 plus M. God, I'm good. God, I'm so fucking good. 1823 plus M. 
B. It's B. It's B. Found it. B. I think I, uh... Oh, it's C. My mistake. C. I see now. Well, I love this. This is great. Oh, I was doing the wrong one. I see. Ah, G. G. Okay, I did it wrong. I see. I told you I'm a genius. 1410 plus N. You know me. I love my number puzzles. Oh. I go and see. I'm just trying to see if I can figure out Igor Igorty Igortum Igortswa. I figured it'd be a word. Thirteen oh seven plus D. Oh yeah, is that what you mean? You mean it? Wait, what letter was it? Is that T? 1791 plus T. Where's 1791? Where's T? Where's the T, sis? Oh, oh, that's S. Egois. Alright. Egoist. Bingo. That was well thought out, Nicholas. E girls, egg, e, 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 e. Well thought out, Nicholas. Ah, the gates of hell are open to me. Oh. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. What? No, I'll just put the apple in the right place. Gotta check that out. Hey. What do you know? It's the holy hand grain. No, 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 no. It's not the holy hand grenade of Antioch. It's an apple. He couldn't have just pushed the arm down? No, of course not. Because there was a little cross that you had to do. What was that cursed place? What do all those words and symbols mean? Father Motor, Son Death. I think that's supposed to be Mother. Yeah, Father Mother Son Death. But it, it's 
says motor. Definitely says motor. Father motor. Motor, Gabnon. Liars, thieves, foragers, monsters, sadists, he and I. Man, fuck this shit. Ha! Okay. <clears throat> For thou shalt count, not count, neither count thou two, excepting that thou then proceed to three. Five is right out. I've apologized so many times, he says I must be punished to learn. Dad, why are you hurting me? I asked. No, Bobby, you're hurting me. Ow! Dun, 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 dun. He was so furious, his face went red. Finally, he spat and said, why do you keep hurting us? Darkness is the worst. I hate it. There is nothing that scares me more. I don't know what I did wrong this time. Maybe I didn't do anything. Maybe I was wrong. I was even born. I think my father wants to get rid of me. I did. It's not because I did some wrong about me. He doesn't want me in his life. I'm a nuisance. What else could it be? The fact that I took his pencil? The one I write with now whenever a bit of light comes through the cracks? I really don't know. I've had a dream, took off my clothes, and ran around the inn naked, yelling at guests like crazy. They were scared of me. They were adults, and yet they were scared. It was just a dream. In fact, I'm the one who's scared. I broke a plate. All my dinner wasted. Father thought I did it on purpose. I never do anything on purpose. My hands are shaking. I can't write anymore. I'm not alone here. He's walking around the house, too. I'm not sure if I like it. He's not saying anything. Just smiling. I'm looking down, not saying anything. He's actually nice to me, not the way I first thought he was. At least I have some company for my trips to the woods. I can't tell my father anything. He would get mad. The day is the same old story, closet and darkness. This time he's here with me. I tell him I was good and it wasn't my fault. It's my father and the others to blame. The old man locks me up because he's ashamed of me. He'd rather I had been, been born with something else. At first, he doesn't believe me, but then he says I'm right. He tells me not to worry and to be patient. He says everything will be all right. I tell him it already is, because neither of us will be alone again. Knees <laughs> weak, arms spaghetti. I make long trips without even moving already. Human equals beast, spaghetti. Me get the shit out of here. Man, get this shit out of my face. What this? Well, now what? When light comes in through the cracks? You mean all fucking day? <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to make light of the situation. A child was locked in a little side room, but... I can only, I can only write when light comes through the cracks of the giant gaping hole near the window. Okay, well, I guess I got knowledge. Should I look at this? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. La da da da. Maybe I should go tell my wife that there's a torture den above my office. Wife. Wife. Please unlock the door. I have to tell you about the torture den in our house. My wife. Let's look at the tape recorder. What is this cursed place? What do these words and symbols mean? Is there a... Is this a... Oh! That explains everything. Oh. Aha! Huh. Oh, he 
he's old. The man in the mask. Now I know who he is. What the hell is that? Wow, that was a close call. I almost went to the How's next chapter. Cool? Hello. Housekeeping. Jesus. Oh, chapter 10, the man in the mask. I know who he is now. I figured it out when he came to my aid again. He's my father. When the detective died, he turned into an ice phantom that, al that almost took my life. The frost scorched the skin of my hands and face. Icicles headed for my heart, but my father, hidden behind the mask and the top hat, came to my rescue one more time. He shows up and disappears like a ghost. Does that mean he's dead like the others? And now he's trying to protect me from beyond the grave? I should have recognized him before. His clothes, his top hat... But he was the bane of my existence when he was alive, so why is he on my side now? The more I know, the less I understand. Okay. Did you sleep at all today? I did. Just joining after watching an hour or so of the last sesh, I see this game is still off the rails, 10 out of 10. Hey, on the plus side, I didn't have to use my future quantum ghost-killing gun at all in the last chapter. So that was a plus. He hey, Max. What is he trying to tell me? Did you say hello? Am I going crazy? What the hell? What? Hold on. Does... Anyone know what just zoom? What did I? What did it zoom in on? Did anyone see? Wheel. Is that is that the what the hell? The wheel? Box. Cube. Oh. Oh, see now I see. But before it was. It was this. Don't give up, skeleton. Hmm, WG again, huh? This is where Gilman ended his life. He never met Maria. He never saw whatever evidence she had for him. Silly Gilman. Reed? What? What is that a Reed? Walter Gilman. It says, do doesn't... Goose Fraba. Alright. Get the shit out of here. Someone's here. Someone follow me to the mine. Hopefully I can lose him. This mine is like a maze. He got lost down here. As soon as I get out of here, I'm going to visit Maria. She said he lived in a cabin by the river not far from the swamp. What secret of the hides? What did we hide? What did the hides hide? Out at night. But what? And where? I don't get it. What does I it don't have to do with the missing I don't the accident? I don't get I it. To them, especially since the detective couldn't write down her testimony. Oh, God. It's been ten years. I hope she's still alive. The brain explosion. I can't believe it was my father doing the things that my father did. Wow. That's really bright. Why don't I take this fucking lantern? Holy moly, dude. Why is my life blurry? I better stay away. What? There's something on the wing. Some thing. Oh. Oh. 
Okay. Lady in the water. I kind of want to... We. someone who's not here it must be the woman who wrote to the detective Maria I made a new game I call it the jump to conclusions Matt Oh no, he must have died right here. <laughs> Where his corpse is. <laughs> Ho! You'll never catch me. Safe on land. Huh. Oh, uh oh, that didn't go well. Where the fuck am I trying to go? And why are there ladies in the water? Riddle me this, Shyamalan. So are you telling me this random chick cursed this guy's family by praying to God of Christian faith? Okay. Christians have done crazier shit, man. Curse these people to hell! Hey. What's up? Me, you, me, me, him, me, you, me. Come here often? <laughs> this is great. I love this. Thank you. Whoa! 
she's gone. God literally turned people into pillars of salt. God was a vengeful prick, dude. Have you read the Old Testament? I highly recommend it. It's a great read. Read the Old Testament. Trust me. Slash the Koran. Either way. They're different, but similar. Um, God's an asshole. Until he killed his son. And now he's chill. I guess. So that's cool. I'll be right back. Ooh, break time. Let's play some ads. I'm non-religious now. I was raised Pentecostal. I've read it multiple times. Yeah. He was just hangry. Yeah. Yeah. That bitch Eve ate an apple after I told her not to. Fuck everybody. For thousands of years. Until this one guy was chill. Now we're, now we're good. Saving that apple for his lunch. Oh, God. But God didn't kill his son. Okay. I'll be back in a little bit. I forgot she disappeared. It spooked me again. Hey look, I found Ethan's dad. BRB. All right, we'll see you soon, Max. You know what's really sad to me? And I know that they can't help it, but like, this game, I guarantee you, has genuinely scared hundreds, maybe, maybe, thousands of people. It makes me sad. We. We. Did it really sell that much? I'm sure this game has sold thousands and thousands of copies. It's pretty high up there on the, uh, or at least when I looked like early October in the horror section of Steam, uh, quite a few of my streamer friends that I'm friends with on Steam have also played it. I don't know if they streamed it, but yeah, I don't know. Mostly positive reviews. I'll give it one thing. It's very, how do I word it? It's put together well. Meaning, it doesn't, like, crash, it's not janky, it's just really mediocre, you know? Speech. Speech. Ah! Uh -huh. Be gone! 
<coughs> You'll never catch me, Maria. Ha! <laughs> it's generic. My wife is too scared to play the Haunted Mansion of Mario 64, so there's that. <sighs> Fuck, Teal Knight, holy shit. <laughs> God damn. I was gonna say bless her soul, but you... Ex-wife? Shit, man. Chill. Okay, um, let me see. If I press X, can I, can I chuck it? Okay, just. What am I supposed to do here? Oh. God, that scared me more than anything in the game so far. The music just fucking cut out. Holy shit. Good lord. Whew, where did I come from? Where am I going? Am I going this way? I think I'm going this way, right? Let's just... Yeah. Haha. -ha. Oh, I got stuck on nothing. I love it. That one got me good. That one got me. They gave me a little start. They made my abdominals clinch. Well played. Well played. That was a good one. The the jump scare immediately after the chase was uh Really? I think you know, sometimes you gotta admit when the spooks get you, you know? I'm not gonna pretend like I haven't been spooked a few times. Not scared, but just like, fuck, you know? Different. Different. Little. Yellow. Different. What was that all about? It got me, but I'm confused about it. Oh, well, see, the reason for it was that the woman in the water clunking her head against the gate wasn't scary at all. So, they had to throw a random ghost at your face. Obviously. It at least picked up the pace after Confederate zombies. Confederate zombies, jeez. But... Why are there so many dead women in this swamp? Why am I in a swamp? Where is this swamp? Who built this shit? What is happening? Okay. Do you think it's gonna break as I walk up it? Oh, expectations subverted. That was a jump. Oh. Oh. Hey, you know what?
expectations subverted. This probably did come out after RE7, didn't it? Oh, I want that. Yeah, right. <laughs> it tickles me. Uh, it tickles me. I think one of my favorite things to do in the horror game genre is to play around with the mechanics. Like enemy spawns and behaviors. AIs. I find it fascinating. Amnesia Water Creature actually kind of panic inducing is a well done segment. I will never ever praise Amnesia for anything because of the fucking pebble you have to pick up. The fucking pebble. Fuck that game. Pebble? It's like a tiny, like, rock. Just randomly in the middle of inconspicuous, you have to throw it at some shit to knock it down. Fucking garbage. Will you take the crank? I bet I can use it to open something. Now I can lower the bridge. There's a bridge. Do you remember? I don't, I don't, I do not remember it. I don't remember that at all. Oh, I remember it because I spent an hour looking for that shit. Garbage. It's just like fucking adjustable stapler. I hate it. I hate it. Oh, wait. Oh, is there a, br oh, is it this way? Is it that? What, what? Where? Oh, I didn't even think about going this way because there was nowhere to go. All right, I see. Gotta go to Maria's house in the swamp. Curse his family and his kin alike. Dear God in heaven, whose merciful son died for my sins, kill that motherfucker and all of his kin forevermore. Curse him! Alright. Maria! Again? Oh my god, again? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Come. Uh. Calm down, Ridley. Damn.
Yay! Alright, this game's not so bad. <laughs> hey, hey, Bobber. Thanks for the big resub. <laughs> I already am, man. How many swamp women are there? Thirteen. Good lord. Whew. Thanks again, Bobber. What? What? I think they forgot to make the water, um, water. Huh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, tickles me, man. It just fucking tickles me. Oh my gosh. Is this Maria's house? Can I play the piano? No? Yeah? Definitely want to put that animation front and center there. It's good. Oh. Oh. She got me again. She was there and then she wasn't and there was a... I am frightened. I still have tears stuck in my eyelashes from laughing. <laughs> it's hard to be scared when there's moisture stuck in your eyes from laughing. Uh, not sure if the tree is creepier. The lady. What if the tree was under the water? <laughs> Why? So many, so many, just so many confusing. Is this the ghost man? Is he going to fly at me? got me. They got me again. Something about that ghosty man. He's a spooky one. That was good. That was good. I liked that. The spooky man always seems to have the good jump scares. Where's Black Philip? He's around. He's watching. Lady in the water. Gate. Nope. Gate? Nope. Ooh. Okay. Pretty Lord, crucify this demon. Someone nailed Maria's dog here to scare her? I just hope she herself is alive. It's Maria's dog, and someone nailed him here to scare her. Remember my game jump to conclusions? That was a good one. 
How's the beast inside? Man, I... It, mm. It's another one of those horror games fan where if you're a fan of B-movies, both Seinfeld B-movie and, like, the rating B-movie, this is, if this is an enjoyable ride. It's quite enjoyable. You like jazz? God. Dude, if this is like I think that I just don't get scared at these games anymore because I can't I can't like oh what is the word? I'm blanking. Fuck. I can't get into the game. Immerse. I'm not immersed, thank you. I can't immerse myself. I'm sitting at my desk in front of a giant light playing a computer game for a bunch of idiots. So when I see like a little gremlin lady make a crackling sound and skitter behind this tomb, it's hilarious to me because it's a video game and I think about the motherfucker that sat at his desk for like three hours animating that shit. It's fucking hilarious. In real life, if I was in this spooky swamp and a creepy lady that was crying made a and then ran behind, I'd be scared shitless. I would probably just stand here and go, I'm gonna die. I'm done. Take me. It's over. I'd be peeing myself. But because it's a video game, I... Zero fear. Absolutely none. It's just hilarious. Haunted houses over spooky games? It's, it's haunted houses are the same fucking thing, dude. Some That motherfucker in a mask is getting paid to go, Ooga booga booga. Like, encourage the cowardly dog. It, like, it startles you because something is, like, flying at your face physically. <laughs> it's just not scary. Jump scare isn't scare. Jump scare is, uh, I think someone said it earlier, a physiological reaction. It is your brain going, dodge. Get out of the way. Close your eyes, or else they will be destroyed. It's not... Sunset! No lived here for years. The woman claimed she knew our family's dark secret. Stupid dog! no idea what the hell she meant, but maybe there's something left. Some records, anything. Ha, ah, the hides days... Oh. Oh, you'll search the place while you're here. That's good. They'll regret they skimped a few bucks for me when my no-good husband kicked the bucket. And I ain't asked for much because I'm a simple, modest woman. I ain't got a penny, even thou. It's a long time since the family owes me. Ever since that old fart father old hide hit me so hard I miscarried. Jesus Christ. I want my money. Punched my baby out of me. <laughs> Yeehaw. Jesus. That went dark? Yeah, kind of, except it's like, those goddamn hides, they owe me money ever since they punched me so hard my baby died. Thank you, Lord. Whoop, whoop. Pull over that ass too fast. Mmm. Thank you for the 68 months, Flippy. Soon. Look away from the spookies that walk spookily past so you don't alert it additionally. Looking at you, Amnesia. Dude, Amnesia sucks. It's not a good game. It's like... <sighs> this, this simile isn't perfect, but it kind of reminds me of the Beatles for music. Amnesia is to horror games as Beatles is to music. It's re It was revolutionary. But, like, l listening to it now, slash playing it now, you're like, wow. Wow, we've come a long way. A long way. <laughs> I wanna hold your hand. 
I want to hold your hand. You! How dare you come here? Go away! In the name of Christ, be gone, Satan! Ooga booga! <laughs> <laughs> Can I hear that yell one more time? Lambo for you. I do this. I do this. So curious where it'll pick up the save. You! How dare you come here! Go away! In the name of Christ be gone, Satan! <laughs> 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 Interesting! Multiple death animations. Why? <laughs> the mouth isn't moving, but she's making noises. It's called prioritizing, alright? Look it up. Read a book. Okay? Quit making fun of the video game. A lot of one person worked really hard on this. Alright? You! How dare you come here? Wait, hold up. Oh, I thought that was a bust. I thought that was someone's head. <laughs> I actually just fucking... Oh, 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 careful. Careful now. Oh, you nearly had me. Oh, oh, take it. Oh. Man. I'll load the last checkpoint. Oh my god, why? What's happening? Why are you talking about control? I've seen people talking about control like on and off for the last like half an hour. What is going on? What? What? You. How dare what? you come here? Did the people that make this game make control? Christ be gone, Satan! Control these nuts? E Rock, no one can control those nuts. In the name of Satan. <laughs> I wanted to see. I just, I'm having too much fun, man. I'm having too much fun with this shit. <laughs> Close the door, boy. <laughs> uh, that's so good. More fun dying than playing. Dying is playing. That's what video games are great for. In real life, there's no respawns. There's no reloads. That's what makes these games great. You. How dare you come here? Go away! What up, In it's me, your boy Christ Satan. Be gone, Satan! It's me. Sorry. <laughs> I kinda like this music though. Gimme! Oh yeah, there it is. Alright, we got it. You mean like this one? Don't you feel safe? 
God will get you. You lousy scum, two-faced bastards, traitors, scoundrels, and cheapskates, God will get you. May the judge drop dead along with the hides. May all their cursed families suffer sevenfold retribution. Give them a curse like Cain's, O oh Lord. May they and their children and their children's children pay for what happened in Blackstone. What they did in the dark, may it be made known, O oh Lord. So I was actually right that praying to God, the forgiving Christian deity has damned an innocent soul in the present. <laughs> like, alright, sure. Ain't gave me no penny, the greedy bastard, and he set that judge of his on me too. Came here, said if I keep bothering them, I'll be sorry, so what am I to do? That old drunkard, my late husband, May he never rest in peace. Give gave up any claims of compensating in his contract. Sold him for a few bottles if I know him. They better not try to scare me. I told the judge I know it all. The blast in the mine was regular murder, and the hides are always scamming and scamming. I'll never forget what Jacob's father did to me, and now I can see Jacob is a hundred times worse. The judge only laughed, but I won't let him get away with it. When I'm sprinting and turning my camera, it's real choppy. You know why? I'll tell you why. I'll show you why. Because it's supposed to look like this. Isn't that so much better? Would you rather I keep this on? Isn't that so much better? Why? Because the frame rate sucks. The frame rate fucking sucks. And instead of optimizing the game and making it run correctly, they slapped a god awful motion blur on it to smooth it out. It's garbage. Lazy garbage. In my opinion. And now. Oh, now you get the full effect of the I need to vomit tonight. Mm, it's visual epic hack. <laughs> That's what it... Every game from now on, instead of having motion blur as the option, it should be visual epic hack on. <laughs> There's no way that's gonna stay. That's gonna break. I'm too much of a gamer for this, dude. Oh, Lord. Ho! Have I been here? No. Rotate to find the hidden message. Someone tried to strangle her with this rosary? If your eye causes you to sin, gouge it out. Oh, yep. That's some Old Testament shit. If your hand causes you to masturbate, cut it off. Pray to thee. Give me salvation. Pray. God, don't make me do it. <laughs> it's not because I'm scared. It's because the game sucks and it's going to be awful. No! <sighs> okay. Hell on wheels, them damn hides. What a wicked family. Holy mother of God, only you understand me. I always wanted to be a good person that wishes harm on no one, but dear God, curse the entire lineage of this man's family all the way to the end. Let no offspring be free of your wrath.
That gave me quite the start. That got me. Got me too. I wasn't expecting the enemy to be around the corner and see me. I thought maybe the game would be designed in a way where I would be able to react. Oh good, I get to lockpick again. That's great. What the fuck? Come on, dude. Fuck off. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I want to hold your hand. I wanna hold your hand. Oh. Uncrouched, Jesus. Nice lady. How much do you think this actress was paid? Gimme! Take! This lady's a rap god. This lady is a rap god. Yo, Reen Man. Thanks so much. Must be the way out. I should search the house and find the remaining notes before I get out of here. Give me salvation from this game, Lord. For you know it is shit. We are one, you know. You know that this game is shit, Lord. You know! I think the baby liked that last bit. To Walter Gilman, dear sir, I saw your dad. Simple plans already got on my own responsible advantage. Blotted murder, 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 crime in the mine where my husband died. The sheriff's told me the world. I'll tell you everything face to face. Blotted out where I'm safe and can feel safe. When you learn about the hide secret, nothing will ever be the same. They were hiding it well, but I saw it. I saw it crept out of the basement of their house, all covered in blood and victims. The wheel of the wild didn't look like a human at all. So old hide spawn. I'm sure his family always had a beast in their heart, but now I got outside. I know. <laughs> Yours sincerely, Maria Hayes. There. Now I need to rewrite it and give it to him. God help him. When he comes, he'll know how's the secrets I'd have. I'll tell him that old son of a bitch hide as man or than one more than one son. Nobody knows because they keep the other one locked up. He wears a top hat and a mask. This must be the last note. Time to leave. Time to go. 
horrible has happened here. I can feel it. What gave you that idea? Do you think the old lady is gonna pop up in front of my face and spook me? Rest until she kills me? I must get out of here as fast as I can. I'm not safe here. I need to get out of this damned swamp. We. It looks like she tried to defend herself with this cross. Apparently, it didn't help much. What? She appeared in front of me and spooked me. What have you seen? Tell me. Who killed those people? Who blew up the mine? What is my family's secret? Tell me. What is your quest? What is your favorite color? The detective was wrong. It was him who killed the devil himself. Wherever there's violence or tragedy, there's you. Wait, now let me write this down in my diary. Stop! You hear me? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sake. It's your fucking dad! Hello? Look! The man in the mask, I know who he is now. I figured it out. It came to my head again. He's my father. <laughs> Fuck off! If it wasn't my father, then who? And why did he do it? Oh. It? Why did he kidnap and murder? What does it have to do with me and my family? My bad. My bad. All right, I get it. Hello? What? <laughs> no! <laughs> Why did it zoom out? <laughs> it zoomed in on nothing and then zoomed out when it happened. Why did they think that was okay? <sighs> nice and easy. Oh yeah, this is a good boat. This is a this is a good boat. Oh, oh no, you just got tetanus. Oh god. That was the scariest thing that's happened in this game. Oh, we're good. Hey, look, we're back to the F-words. I had a brush with death, waking up at the bottom of a fucking well next to a fucking fuck. What's fucking more, I found some fucking disturbing evidence. Emma called in a sheriff, and his fucking car came across fuck that I fucked a fuck with my fuck. My whole fucking fuck had a fuck. And these fucks and goddamn fuck games. I have to fuck separate the fucks from fuckacy. 
motherfuckers. No, fuck! Don't do this to me now! Stop! Fuck! Oh, I'm running out of air. Okay. What? Did you just push away the chair? What? Can I... Hello? Oh, right. I need the, the pipe to... to open this... I'm sorry. Did you know that underwater crank windows don't work? Do you know that? And it's much better to use a a pipe Son of a bitch. to pry open thought the back window? Like it's not just the keys and the messages. He wants to get rid of me. Emma, she stayed at home and he's there with her. I'm fucking cranked right now. Yeah, I know that wouldn't happen. Listen, you don't un you've never been in a situation like that. You don't understand, okay? That's exactly how I would I would do that. But I mean, whose body parts are those? Does that not matter? No, of course it doesn't matter. Why would it matter? I have to find Emma. She's alone with that fucker. That fucking fuck. Fuck. Motherfuck. Fuck. Fuck. The house, Emma. Just a little more. I can do it. Yeah. I have to. I'm so close. Oh shit. Take out you know, pickaxe my fucking rock wall, fuck. Insane troll logic. Like troll is an internet troll or troll is in like because I think it's both. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Good. Good answer. It's the three people. Remember? It's the three people that the Soviet spy hung to send me a message, and for no other reason, because everything's about me. Dead glare, you nearly made me ruin my shitty keyboard. Hmm. <laughs> no pulse. Oh, I can't run fast anymore. Oh, no, we're good. I'm on? past. Where's oh. it coming from? Where's it coming from? Where's it coming? Where's it coming from? Where's what coming from? Don't worry about it. Where's it coming from? I will say, I do like the music in this game. I really do. I really do like this music. Oh my god, am I in the past? Nope. Hey, look, it's... it's a prison. Fuck, I gotta get that. Emma! Emma, are you here? Emma, are you fuck? Emma! Are you fuck? Emma! Fuck, I can't believe it. Fuck. I'm too late. Fuck. He's taken her. You had to fight him. I left you at the mercy of that motherfucker. Fuck! Emma, I should have been here. Emma, I fuck! Did you. you fucking fuck. That motherfucker. Emma dead as hell. 
That's because I'm a super secret serial murderer due to a curse that the Lord in heaven put upon my family. Dude, oh no. <laughs> I need a book. I need a moment. Feel better. I'll follow now. his trail. It can't be far. What? All right, I made it up the ladder. Now let me grab this axe so I can kill my wife in the basement. All right, here we go. Traces are leading to the basement. Mm -hmm. Drag her. Our basement. Where's my axe? Why? Hello. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Wait. <laughs> hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh god, the game is not happy that this is happening right now. Let's see how far we can break. Oh. Oh, it's mad. The game is mad. It's so angry. Now toss it. Yeah. Uh-oh. I'm not allowed. Okay, hold on. I gotta go back. Yep, put that away. You don't need that anymore. Eh, uh oh. Um. I have made a mistake. I have made a horrible, horrible mistake. Wait! Oh, I thought that was it. Where'd it go? Is it around here? Okay, that's bad. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna... Yeah. <laughs> that was the scariest game in, th game in the thing so far. Was the axe important? Yes. Traces are leading to the basement. Where did he drag her? Our basement? Her. Why? Uh. Traces are leading to the basement. Where did he drag her? The basement? Why? Oh! Oh, yeah. All right. I'm glad I reloaded. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're talking. Let me just. Yep. This way. He knows this house better than I do. No one can withstand the power of my horse. 
you will all tremble. Police chain. <laughs> My tape recorder? How did this get here? I can't make heads or tails of this anymore. If that masked man isn't my father, but my father's killer, then who is he? Who harmed all these people? Did my father have another child? A bastard son whom he kept hidden from the world? It's time to finally rip that mask off his fist. Are you? You won't deceive me anymore. We end this today. You're the one who's cursed. Ah, poor Lady Dimitrescu. Such a fine, such a fine big booty, and such a horrible one-liner. You're the one who's cursed. Rip the fucking fuck off the fuck. No, this is this is my like great granddad. He doesn't swear. He's a good he's a good chap. No swearing from great grandfather. It's only Adam in the present that says fuck every other word. Hey, wait a minute. That's not how that works. Hmm, this is red. Does that mean I interact with? No, because that's red. Why is it red? I don't know. Oh, we're at the inn! Let's go back inside. Now that you don't make, they don't make sense. Exodiad the moon. Yo, inscription? 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 Hell yeah. Game's fucking fantastic. Congrats on Exodiating the moon. Got to act two. Ooh. Pixel time. I won't spoil anything. I fucking love that game. How Congrats is that on Act possible? Two. What's happening to me? <laughs> uh, you, you've joined just in time for the uh, last two chapters of one of the most ridiculous horror games I think I've played in a long time. Why am I seeing him again? Hey, Judge. Poor old scoundrel. I never wished you well, Norton. But this. It was him, Jacob. It was him. Who the fuck's Jacob? That was also him. I'll get you out of here, and you'll tell me everything. Hold on. Oh, his arm is a little fucked up. Oh my god, I almost choked. Holy shit, the dude hung on the wall is missing his entire everything but bone on his forearm. 
This guy gets stabbed through the dick and dies instantly. Holy moly. What? I told you time and time again, you snot. You can't come in here. This yeah. is a job for grown men. Yeah. They go deep underground, drilling and sweating away in the dark to extract the ore from the earth. Gotta you get that pirate. Only get in their way. Yeah. What? Why does it all come back to me? I must. I must get out of here. This game don't make no goddamn sense, man. I ain't, I don't know what the hell going on. How do I get up to the pickaxe, man? I'm just trying to get out of here, man. Daddy was mean to me. He fell sideways, obviously. As one often does. Oh, good. It's one of these things. Maybe I need to listen for the, uh, the Kokiri song. Nope, not that way. No. Oh, the world's upside down. So I can get it now. That makes sense. Okay. R right. Sure. Whee. Oh, oh, I see. Party. Thanks. Thanks for the tenor. Oh, hell yeah, Dan. Too fast, too soon. No. Yo, Grizzlies ain't shit, dog. What? Oh, hello? Am I allowed to go through? Thank you. What is the fucking game? Oh, I never remember the name of it. Uh, the horror game that I was talking about on Twitter that I was trying to remember. I don't remember the name of it. Happy Buck. Let me smile. Um. Fuck. Hold on. It's in my Steam library. I must know. It's, uh. It's. It's. Uh, the reason I'm bringing it up is because in that horror game, there was like a. A wolf head that would talk to you, and that's what this reminded me of. I think it starts with an I. Infliction. Yes. Infliction. Found it. Honey, I'm home! Do you really want to sit in the dark? Do you like breaking rules? Forgive me, Father. It won't happen again. Yeah. Up. Up. Must go up. Clunk. Ivermectin. I'll go crazy if you don't let me out. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, Nicholas. He will be sorry. What? Who's there? Uh -huh. We have to help each other. The uh -huh. whole world is against people like us. Uh -huh. It's all my fault. No, it's uh -huh. not. Uh -huh. It's their fault. Uh -huh. And they will pay. Your old man and ha -ha. No, no, Sounds no. like Nelson. You cannot think that way. We can do anything. Ever since he said you ruined his life, since he started to lock you up in here, I deserved it. He cheated on her. Did you know? And he didn't want her to have you. The most respected son of a bitch in Blackstone. Stop it. You're confusing me. It's time for revenge. First, I will fuck up the mine. What do you say? I know where the old man keeps the dynamite boxes. This way. This is my chance. No. Oh. Okay. Yeah, 
this looks fine. Yeah, that's great. All right, that's a you little... fucking brat. Yeah, father, I didn't do it. I didn't, I didn't do it, father. Nicholas. Don't scare off the guests. Don't steal from the father. Road. I'm sorry. I would never. I swear to God. I would never I do it, father. Take his name in vain. Mm -hmm. You have no card in your heart. You damn little shit. Said a hustler with a heart of shit. It's not just things disappearing in this inn, but the guests too. You were supposed to help me, not get me in trouble. People are trouble. Yeah. You will see that when you yeah. finally open your eyes. Yeah, open your now eyes. It's bitch. time for me to open fire. Oh, I'm good now. Let me hang out for a minute and get my health back. <sighs> Where'd the music go? Machete boner, dude. All those people. He's got a Stop. machete boner. Right. He's gonna kill me Don't with his machete boner. Stay away. Oh no, I gotta know. Put it back in. Sheath. Sheath the boner. Oh, okay. I had to know. I had to know. Good to know that our character can take three machete slices to the fucking head and still have cognizance of what's happening. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. The splitting headache. Hold on. Alright, I'll give you a head start there. Too much fun. I'm just having too much fun. It's great to see what the game designers made for when you are a literal brain dead idiot. You know? It's fun. <laughs> Oh. Can I 
Ah, oh, man. I want to see if I can, like, dodge the attack once it happens. For no reason in particular. I just want to see if it's a thing that can occur. That's all I want. Like, can I make him swing, but then be like, whoo! You know? I want to see if I can do it. We'll try one more time. What? One more, one more life for that, and then I'll saunter on. All right, here we go. Here we go. What? Oh, the fire! All right, I can't do it. As soon as he attacks, that's it. Any more? Oh, how fortuitous. We. No, hold on. <laughs> How did he fall inwards? That's... Yes. Thank you. I'm glad that I was not the only one that... Oh, I see. I understand now. No goodies? No? Alright. <laughs> oh. Not the third story West Wing landing! Anything but that! Oh, God! It's almost like I had to stop to let the game load the next portion, but they didn't really have anything interesting to show, so they made me watch the landing fall apart for no reason. Oh, there we go. There's the prompt. He didn't, he didn't give a fuck. Excuse me, what? Can I go back this way? Ah, oh, good. Uh-oh. How do I get... Uh, 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 okay. Dad just Eiffel Towered me with himself and his boner machete. Not right. Thizu is getting out of hand. Thizu. Now carries two of them.
professional. Are you okay? Stroke check. Clear. We're good. Oops. I alt-tabbed and that started the, the segment. I just am enjoying the daddy double team, to be honest with you. Oh, I see. You have to be going fast enough, otherwise you lose. in the top left of the screen as I died. Not right. McQueen's driving in the woods. There's no one around and his phone is dead. Out of the corner of his eye, he spots him, Shia La Buzz. What? Professional, are you fucking drunk or some shit? Not even an anime Tiong that time. Shia LaBeouf. What the fuck are you talking about? What context does that have? Now I click. Good lord! What? Oh, you hold. Oh, that's a right click. <laughs> this is so unbelievably shit. Oh my god, I love it. Wait, did this release in the 2000s? Yes. The 2010s. Late. Like, recently. <laughs> uh. Is this really happening? No, God, I wish not, but it is. It, it definitely is. New objective! Go straight ahead! Where's that voice coming from? Oh, hold on. Oh, gotta put it back. Didn't click enough. Wait, wait, wait. Nope, gotta put it back. Didn't click. I'm gonna take a break. Be back in a little bit.
Is he still at it? Oh, he's almost got it. You can do this, dude. Not right. He's following you. About 30 laps back, he drops into fourth gear and breaks into a sprint. He's gaming on you, Shia Labas. You're looking for the on ramp, but you're all turned around. He's almost upon you now, and you can see there's oil on his face. My god, there's oil everywhere. I think I prefer the beans, to be honest with you. That's saying something. Bepith. Shia Labine. Running for your life, Shia Labine. Thank you for the biddies. Actual idiot professional gamer. Did you end up checking Darkwood for Spooky Month? If so, did it interest you or nah? Uh, nah. Not my kind of game. Is that the second time you've asked that with channel points? I think you asked that earlier with channel points or all these. My bad. Did I? I don't know. I remember reading that earlier. The walls are moving. They're not actually. It's actually a clever visual effect. The walls aren't moving, the camera is just doubled, and one of them is bobbing up and down while the other is bobbing down and up. And one has a slight opacity. See how it kind of like... Isn't that cute? Adam! Adam! Emma! Emma, you're here! Oh, this is modern time. Oh, I thought I was... Oh, I'm fucking fucker now. I see. I understand. I'm, I'm fuck guy. Me no sleep? Sorry, man, I got you. I must have lost my mind. Oh, I am past man. And I am future man. And past man. Aha. Oh, yeah. so I'm seeing a spy in the future. And I'm seeing, oh, this almost makes a little bit of sense, but not really. Or is it just my imagination? Running away with me. And it's just my imagination. Running. Away with me. You are freaking out, man. I'm hearing things that couldn't exist. Running away with me. You ever get schlorped into your grandfather's past experiences? Happens to me quite a bit. That looks awful. Oh. Oh no. But now you can see a lot more clearly the visual effect I was trying to explain. It's much better visual representation. It's a clever effect, but it's not great. Imagine how awful that is with motion blur. Why imagine when you, oh, it's still happening. <laughs> still happening. Hey, we got a nice 60 frames per second though. That's good. Oh, it literally doesn't do anything. It's three layers? Yeah, I'm seeing the third one as well. Yeah, you're right, it is three. 
is a real, real low opacity. High opacity? Low opacity. On that third layer that's kind of just going up and down. Yeah. Well, this is just the worst. Time to go in the mirror. It's just like. It's just my imagination. There's no coming back. Oh! Oh! No! 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 Ah! Oh, no! Ugh. Gross. I have the key. Oh, this is the key from the uh, from the backs. It's key from the backs. I remember the X backs. The effect is still here. Let's look at the candles. That actually makes me feel a little ill. I don't like it. Faja? But wait, it's not Faja. It's over. You can't get away. Hear me. You're not going to Hear get me. away with it. I know what you did. I followed the trail of your crimes. I've been to all the places you've spilled blood. There's just one thing that remains a mystery. Why? That's beyond my grasp. So many people have died. Speak up. Tell me. Why? Give him a chance, you fucking dingus. Because I'm you. And you are me. Father's reflection in every human being, a world full of beasts in human disguises. No one was innocent. Evil. Patty was joking? God, no, I wasn't joking. You fucking kidding me? It's the most obvious twist in video gaming history. Their name is Hyde! Hyde! Think about it. Your father. He wears a top hat and his name is Hyde! Fuck! On the tragedy of commoners. Yeah, Among fuck those. Widow and a vicious bigot who wished everyone all the worst. And last but not least, the judge, a grafter, and a regular scoundrel. I've seen worse. Right, your father. A true role model. His hands back. Community. I know they were not good people, but what you did to them. I protected us, don't you see? Now, Kith. I saved your life. Or maybe you're just a bloodthirsty sadist who looks for guilt in others in order to blot out your own. Yeah. You know where you would be if it wasn't for me. In that fucking darkness. The old like man this. would be pissing on your grave. Where you are now. And all a fucking Blackstone would still be full of human vermin. Maybe. But that's not an excuse. I don't need one. The choice is simple. You let the vermin spread and they will take over the world, or you wipe them out, protecting the righteous few. They will call you. Did you like that symbolism? So it's really subtle. The mirror showing his reflection was shattered, and the two faces were in different pieces. There's a lot of symbolism there. I don't know if you caught that. All back into madness like the last time. You'll tell the doctor. Really? If you get rid of me, they'll squash you like a bug. You think you can just snap your fingers and I'll be gone? Oh, we're going back to it. No, we're not. Oh. <gasps> what do I choose? Do I choose the hat or the or the machete? What's in the hat? <laughs> what? What's in the hat? I gotta see if I pull a rabbit out. Accept true nature. Deny the evil personality. <laughs> They're really telling it like it is. And they really, uh... I'm the one to blame. I won't deny it. 
It was literally just random. Wait, was it? What did you do with Adam? There's a line now between you and me. You've become my prisoner, and you better start cooperating. What are you talking about? What are you trying to achieve? Why am I why? I'm the one asking questions here. Name. What kind of sick game is this? Emma, for fuck's sake. Emma. Emma Stevens. Really? Nadia Kamayava. The 60s, you underwent training in one of the KGB centers in Russia. Did you, or did you not? What? What training? Say the passphrase. Adam! Say the passphrase. <laughs> We've recovered part of the report. Say the passphrase. Maybe all that she told me was a lie. The KGB called those women sparrows. They seduced Americans in order to relay information to Soviet intelligence. Was I really so blinded by love? Where did you get this? Who sent you? She refused to talk, but she doesn't deny the allegations. What have... what have you done to me? Adam! You! Why? What happened to you? Ten years together, and you've been pretending all this time. Adam! What happened to you? Why are you talking like that? Nicholas was my great-great-grandfather. Would you believe it? His diary opened my eyes. You have to be very careful about who you trust. The world is full of beasts. Stop it! You're delusional! It's me. You hear me? I'm your wife. We're expecting a baby. Remember? And war. War creates war never changes though. Homes, in our bedrooms. Anyone can be the bad guy. But sometimes please. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I Kill yourself in game, loser. You won't. I like that this is happening in real time. Like she's still wiggling around, like we're just sitting here silently. Just. Sometimes. Oh. Oh, hey. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well. See Sometimes you. Sometimes it's the one you love that turns out to be the beast. No!
Wait, you left your father's boner, but okay, good. It's time to hunt. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, masterpiece. Master. The piece. The end. Close that door. New, new game. You gotta go through the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, me too, Corbin. Yeah. Good lord. Exit. Do you, do you want to quit game? Yes. You've unlocked 15 out of 27 achievements. Well, let me just, let me just quickly, uh, this is becoming somewhat of a theme this month of October, but, uh, um, let me just, real quick, uh, who's playing Inscription? Put him on blast. Oh, Willard's playing Inscription, fuck yeah. Uh, let me just go ahead and right-click the beast inside and go ahead and just, boop, oh, Satisfying. So satisfying. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. Now, we've done that. Let us go to YouTube. Oh, you can see my subscriptions. Yo! I'm gonna watch the fuck out of that later. Hell yeah. Alright. Um, let's see. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. What was I gonna... Oh yeah. The Beast... Inside endings. W wiki. All four, and you have to do this four times. It's over. You can't get away. Hear oh, me. I need to turn it up. You're not going to get away with it. I know what you did. I followed. Okay. Okay. He hurt you. Yeah. He hurt you. True. True. Cut off your fingers. Oh. Oh, which one will you choose? You will be gone because you depend on me. Your actions were treacherous. You ruined my life, and I can't change that. So you'll become another victim. The last one. That's exactly what happens when you pick the hat. Okay. How are we doing today? Every day, the same question. Which is reason enough to keep you here, isn't it? Not to mention all the rest. All the rest. Not my wife, Emma. She... We're talking about you. Please, focus. This doctor's a Emma fucking and I cunt. We're expecting a baby. And some people are trying to... So far, your theories have not been confirmed. Theories? What theories? Concerning what happened in Blackstone. What happened to your wife? And what they have done. But I was there! They took photos of they. us, planted bugs. I've been asking you for months, but I'll ask you one more time. Who are they? Am I one of them? Months! Did they tell you to brainwash me? They! Soviets! Ruskies! Communists, Ruskies! Communists! Whatever you fucking want! There's a fucking war going on! Who in the service has talked to you? Maybe we could... Wait a minute. Who pays you, motherfucker? GRU? Motherfucker. KGB? Fuck you, fuck. You fucking fucker. I've talked to David. We've got Soviet agents in our ranks. Anyone could be a spy, even a close friend or a family member. 
So? Gru and his minions? Maybe all that you told me was a lie. KGB called those women sparrows. They seduced Americans in order to relay information to the Soviet intelligence. Was I really so blinded by love? She won't admit it, but she won't fool me anymore. I'll do what I have to do. You forged a recording. What have, what have you done to my wife? Tell me, you phony. You Who phony. Are you really? You phony. It's not you asking these questions. It's your illness. Your persecutory delusions make you question everything around you. Try to calm down and answer for yourself. Who are you? Adam or Nicholas, like you said the last time? Who am I talking to right now? Why is this guy like so evil sounding? Like what? Why? Destroyed your relays. What doctor does this? You want to get hold of the information I've got? That's all you care about. You're fucking delusional, you piece of shit. Now who are you? Conditions got worse again. Let's apply 400 votes. This is fantastic. Oh, oh yeah. Am I setting? Oh, I'm the spy. I'm the spy. Oh, I can't believe it. I killed the. Oh, I. Oh no. No. Grab the booby one last time. One last time. Or not. I am sick. Emma was a spy. Emma was innocent, and I thought she worked for the Soviets. I killed my wife. I killed her. The numbers! The numbers! They were making progress. What do they mean? Tell me everything once again, from the beginning. About your work. The numbers, Adam! The numbers! Adam. What do they mean? Adam. Tight! I, I don't know. Adam is gone. What? What is this? Oh, this is this is me sealing up the the death chamber where I fucking murdered my own wife because she was a spy in my mind. Is happening. What? What? You murder your fucking wife and you're insane and now you're fine? This you just. Over. But there will be others. Gong. Alright, that's one ending. That bitch was a spy. That sparrow whore. No, it's your turn. Get him! Get him! Adam, Adam is gone. <laughs> <laughs> It's cut in, dude. Gone. <laughs> Amazing game. Blah, this. Oh my god. Uber Zach, thanks for the six months, by the way. Hello. Sorry it took me a while to thank you. Good lord. What? 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 
So it's the same? This war is over. But there will be others. Oh, you just murder the doctor and then everything's fine. Go. War is over. War is over. So this is stupid. And I have a gun. I'm the one to blame. Will I kill my wife? It's time to accept the truth about myself. Probably just one. So this is Christmas. There's a line now between you and me. You've become the top. Yep. Seen it. 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 Oh, boobies. Why? You've been pretending all this time. Eyes. You have to be very careful. You're delusional. Hmm. 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 Sometimes it turns out that by fighting evil, we will awaken the beast inside. I'm Bad. sorry. I'm so sorry. Bad. Bad. Imagine having to play this game four fucking times for these endings. I won't. That makes no sense, he's dead. How does the... There's two endings. Dome. So for those of you that are in the small mental minority that doesn't understand the heavy handedness of the Sometimes plot twists of this game, I'd like to take a moment to explain them to you. A woman got punched by a man in the belly and miscarried. She wanted to tell a reporter about it, but he was killed in a mine explosion by the man who punched her son who has schizophrenia and is named Hyde. So she prayed to God to curse the man's family and the man in the future was cursed to be schizophrenic as well, is secretly named Hyde and had delusions about Soviets and killed his wife and or a doctor. It's time to hunt. to look at any of these. Three of these videos are Death Stranding boss fights. Have you ever seen or experienced a Death Stranding boss fight? They're not worth making videos over. Whoo-wee! All right, now I gotta know. What, what, let's listen to someone. Story explained. We got, oh, wait a minute. No, this is all endings. I don't need that. Story explained. This is good. Shoutouts to the hidden object guru. 
Uh, make sure you check out the Hidden Object Guru for more videos like this. I think that this this is the Hidden Object Guru, right right here. The breast inside. Warning, not only is this video gory, it spoils the pl oh. The beast inside takes place in two different time periods. Oh. Jumping back and forth between Adam Stevenson in the year 1979 and his ancestor Nicholas Hyde in 1865. I'll be presenting the game's events in chronological order, both because that's the easiest way to make sense of them, and because only in the first section of the game is it at all possible to be sure of what actually happened. Oh. oh. I see. So here's Adam taking the knife out of the sheriff's head to stab his wife. Correct? Correct. Let us continue. So let's get started with part one. Jacob Hyde reaps the whirlwind. Jacob Hyde was a 19th century businessman living in Blackstone, New Hampshire, along with his partner, George Whitehead. I like this guy's voice. He ran a mine as well as an inn that was almost preposterously luxurious given its remote location. Sorry, aside, I was expecting this to be a piece of shit video by some random idiot saying um and uh a lot and just kind of freeballing it, which happens a lot with explained videos for video games. This is impressively well produced. I might, I might subscribe to this person by the end of this video. <laughs> like, like genuinely. <laughs> I'm impressed so far. Always a cruel man. You're free balling? Hell yeah. Worse after the death of his wife. Higher budget in the game? All of his frustrations on his son Nicholas, excessively punishing the boy for even the smallest infractions. Ooh, wait a minute, hold on. I am streaming after all. His favorite punishment involved locking Nicholas away in a secret room for days at a time, keeping him in total oh. darkness. This had the effect of shattering the young boy's mind and creating a second personality within it. The mm -hmm, second, mm -hmm. unnamed personality became a dumping ground for all of Nicholas's negative emotions and impulses. But instead of helping him control his behavior, the personality functioned as an unrestrained id, taking over his consciousness id. and acting out aggressively. These bouts of bad behavior, Ego. stealing, harassing guests at the hotel, hiding his father's possessions, just caused Jacob to punish Nicholas even more severely, creating a vicious cycle in which the son would act out, the father would punish him, which would make the next behavior even worse, and so on. The terrible downward spiral of their relationship truly began only when a young Nicholas smuggled barrels of gunpowder into the mine and detonated them while men were at work. Along with George Whitehead, a handful of miners were killed, and the damage to the mine was so severe that it had to shut down operations. Whether Jacob suspected his son had been involved or merely thought it was negligence, he covered up the murder and paid off Judge Norton, the law in Blackstone, to certify it as an accident. A woman named Maria, the widow of one of the miners killed in the explosion, confronted Jacob, demanding compensation for her husband's death. Jacob refused, citing the terms of his employment, that he worked at the mine at his own risk. She persisted in her demands, and in response, he viciously beat her, securing the knowledge that Judge Norton would prevent him from suffering any legal consequences. As a result of the beating, Maria suffered a miscarriage. This tragedy drove her further into religious mania, and left her obsessed with the desire to bring down Jacob Hyde in whatever way she could. Emboldened by his success in the mine explosion, Nicholas's actions grew far more extreme. He stepped up his harassment of the guests at his father's hotel, even killing some of them when they were staying alone and made the mistake of isolating themselves. He hid the bodies deep in the shuttered mine so that no one would be able to find them. Eventually, Nicholas turns his rage onto Judge Norton, the corrupt justice who had covered for his father's crimes. Nicholas locked the judge away in a punishment cave beneath the house, torturing him for days on end. Alarmed by the judge's disappearance and growing suspicious about his son's actions, Jacob searched the house and found the judge in the secret room. He set the judge free, but was then murdered by Nicholas, who returned just at that moment, wearing a mask and his father's cloak and hat. The judge fled the house and ran towards the hotel, but Nicholas caught him and slashed his throat before he was able to find help. Nicholas returned home and disposed of the evidence of his crimes, even walling up the hallway to the secret torture room. Both private detective Walter Gilman and the local authorities conclude that Jacob Hyde likely killed Judge Norton and then fled to avoid prosecution. While the authorities give up their search, Gilman stays on, continuing to investigate the death, hoping to find proof of Hyde's guilt and make a name for himself by doing so. 
When word of his snooping reached Maria, she wrote him a letter, offering information about the case. Unbeknownst to everyone, she'd been stalking the Hyde family, and has seen Nicholas sneaking out of the house at night to sabotage and murder. Gilman planned to meet her, but first decides to go to the mine and look for evidence that might be hidden inside. Nicholas followed Gilman to the mine and murdered him, discovering Maria's letter on his body. He then traveled to her home in the swamps and murdered her to get rid of the final loose end that risked exposing his crimes. Without his father around to make excuses for him, Nicholas isn't able to hold in his more extreme behavior. He's adjudicated as mentally unstable and spends the next decade in a mental institution. It's at this point that his part of the game's story begins. The player follows Nicholas, who has completely blocked out his violent action from the majority of his childhood trauma. Watch. In a mental institution. It's at this point that his part of the game's story begins. The player follows Nicholas. One more time. Institution. It's at this point that his part of the game's story begins. The player follows Nicholas, who is completely... In slow mode. At this point, did his part of the game's story begins. The player follows Nicholas. Ah! <laughs> Why would you put that in your video? No, don't, don't do that. <laughs> He's completely blocked out his violent actions and the majority of his childhood trauma as he explores his childhood home and its surroundings. During one long, terrible night, he is confronted by his own past deeds and haunted by the apparitions of all the people he had killed. Also, in a bizarre interlude, he appears to kill a man who was hiding out in the abandoned hotel as part of a plan to kill Abraham Lincoln. Eventually, he confronts his demons... <laughs> watching this, I'm gonna get another personality and start murdering motherfuckers. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. That is in the game. I forgot about that. I remember the letter, but this doesn't explain it any more than the game. The because there's nothing to explain. There, there was a, there was a, a Confederate man that found a Union soldier outfit and was hiding in the abandoned hotel. Ed, Nicholas killed him. It happens. It's he's there. Hey Neil, how's it going, dude? Let's let's listen to that again. Let's just 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 soak it in. Just all right. Let's just stop as he explores his childhood home and its surroundings. Mm -hmm. During one long oh, actually, let's watch this part again. Since we're here, it's a decade in a mental institution. It's at this point that his part of the game's story begins. The player follows Nicholas who has completely blocked out his violent actions in the long, terrible night. He is confronted by his own past deeds and haunted by the apparitions of all the people he had killed. Mm -hmm. Also, in a bizarre interlude, he appears to kill a man who was hiding out in the abandoned hotel as part of a plan to kill Abraham Lincoln. Eventually, he... There it is. That's the beast inside. <laughs> confronts his demons burns down the long abandoned inn, and locks away the darker aspect of himself for good. He writes a journal detailing his delusional journey, then changes his last name to Stevenson and settles down, hoping to put the darkness of the Hyde name behind him. For the record, there's another ending in which Nicholas goes right on killing dressed in his costume and mask, but it's clearly not intended to be the canonical resolution to the story. So, 
With that relatively simple tale of madness and revenge out of the way, let's move on to the far more unhinged and baffling section of the game. Part the far more and unhinged section of the game. Part two, Adam Stevenson is insane, or is he? This motherfucker just did the same thing that the game does at the, with the gong, gong, question mark. Yes. The story opens in August 1979, with Adam and his wife Emma, who is pregnant with their first child, moving into the old Hyde estate in Blackstone, New Hampshire. Blissfully unaware about his family's dark history, Adam knows it only as the Stevenson's Refuge, a bucolic getaway that generations have enjoyed. Adam is a cryptographer working for the CIA and he believes that moving to the peace and quiet of the country will help him focus on his work, breaking a series of Soviet codes that are considered to be of the utmost importance to national security. After finding pages from Nicholas's diary hidden away in the house's attic, Adam blacks out, and things start getting weird. It's here that the game's reality completely breaks down, and it becomes impossible to tell exactly what's happening for certain. I'll describe Adam's actions here, but unfortunately, I can't offer too much interpretation on them, since the game offers multiple possible realities. I'll lay out the theories and focus on the one I think is the most plausible, but any conclusions about what to believe have to be left up to the player. As for why Adam goes into this fugue state, there's no clear evidence offered. Either Adam suffers from a severe, undiagnosed case of dissociative identity disorder, or he's being influenced by the spirit of Nicholas Hyde's dark half. Those are... Patty Hypers. Corporal. Corporal. What are you doing? What are you doing over there, huh? Thank you for not unplugging the modem, you good boy. Let me let me add a little bit of good to this. There we go. That's nice. We'll put that right there and just very lightly move the... There we go. There he is. All right. They're really the only two possible options, since he begins having blackouts long before there's any serious stress put on him. For simplicity's sake, I'll list the blackout actions as being committed by Nicholas rather than Adam to make it clear which personality is performing them. During the first blackout, Nicholas goes off into the woods, murders a deer, turns off the house's power, takes a fuse out of the fuse box, and places it, along with some kind of tracking device, into the deer, which he then hangs from the roof of the Good barn. boy! He then tears a number of pages out of his diary and hides them in the house, so that Adam will only gradually Eek. learn new pieces of the story, giving Nicholas more time to exert power over him. Once he's completed that task, he returns to the house and Adam takes control. Adam well, looks for some fuses in the shed near the house, but instead finds his own clothes, bloody from when he slaughtered the deer. Adam is confused broke. and frightened and tries to figure out where the clothes could have come from. Of course, on some level he knows, but he can't consciously admit what's going on, so his mind creates a device that can reveal his own actions to himself without having to consciously accept that he'd performed them. This leads him to imagine that he's using a quantum localizer, a bizarre science fiction device that can show him what people were doing in the recent past. Of course, what's actually happening is that Adam is simply remembering the things Nicholas did while in control of his body, but they're being filtered through a framework that allows him to pretend that he's merely investigating actions rather than remembering them. After locating the that, things, Adam returns... That little tidbit actually has helped me understand... That was a very good tidbit. I am, yes, good. Sense now, a little bit. Turns to the house and fixes the power, 
but pointedly doesn't tell Emma about the deer, the sabotage, or the man he believes is watching them. Even though he claims to believe that he's being stalked by Russian spies, the Nicholas personality, desperate to increase its power, won't let him do the sensible thing in that situation, warn his wife, and involve his employers at the CIA. Instead, he just continues working as if nothing unusual has happened. The couple spends the next weeks getting the house in order, and then Adam gets to work on decoding Russian communications. In a truly bizarre scene, he attempts to break these codes using an Enigma machine, of the type the Nazis used in World War II. It's unclear if this is just the game developers having a love for the machine's aesthetic, or a symptom of Adam's growing detachment from reality. Adam takes a break from his code work when he discovers more pages from the diary hidden in his desk. He begins reading them, and Nicholas again takes over his body. Nicholas heads to the burned ruins of his family's inn, finds a safe, and hides the next set of pages inside of it. He also places a bug inside of a treehouse at the edge of the property to increase Adam's paranoia. Then he returns to Adam's office and pretends to solve the Russian code, writing up a message that sounds like spy talk, but has nothing to do with the actual code Adam was sent. Nicholas then makes notes on the diary page to make it seem as if the pages somehow held secret clues that allowed the cipher to be decoded, thus ensuring that Adam would have a good reason to keep looking for more pages. How can we be sure that the message Nicholas wrote down has nothing to do with the code he was sent? Two reasons. One, the message contains numbers as single characters rather than written out, which his method of coding and decoding would not allow for. And two, the message has the exact same I should number check of it characters out. as the code sheet. Hold on. Hold on. They left this Steam message, it says. Jahasa Jaju says, I should check it out. Have fun checking it out, Jahasa Jaju. Which would only make sense if the Russian secret message had been written in English, which I should check no it out. I believe it would. So obviously, Nicholas just crafted a quick message designed to make the diaries seem important, and Adam was already predisposed to believe it. When Adam resumes control, Emma tells him that she spotted someone outside the front of the house that he was too far away for her to make out any details. She also claims to have seen someone watching her from the woods a few days earlier. Not knowing that it was Nicholas that she saw, Adam heads out into the woods to look for the intruder. He uses the quantum localizer to follow him to the treehouse, where he finds both the bug and a photograph of Emma. There are four possibilities about what this photograph could mean. It could have been taken by Nicholas as part of his campaign of psychological manipulation. It could have been taken by actual Russian spies. It could have been taken by Agent H, a character we'll get to in a little bit. Or it could have been a complete delusion on Adam's part. There's no way to know for sure. While searching the treehouse, Adam sees what he believes to be a spy watching from the next house over. Obviously, this character is a figment of his imagination. Unless we're being asked to believe that a spy would dress up in a suit, tie, and hat in order to sneak around a forest. No, the stereotypical nature of the spy's appearance is all we need to confirm that he's just a creation of Adam's mind. I accept Adam chases that. the spy all the way to the burned-out wreck of the hotel, I accept where he that. finds the pages that Nicholas has left for him. So, desperate for more help with the Russian codes, he reads them, once again allowing Nicholas to take over his But body. then again, now he does a try fuzzy, to spin a pipe. Is in control for a full six hours, giving him plenty of time to take action. During this period, he travels to the Firewatch Tower and kills the person that he finds there. As to that person's identity, we'll address that in a bit. He leaves the final set of pages next to the body, essentially challenging Adam to commit himself to reading them even when faced with a horrible crime, thereby completely turning himself over to Nicholas's control. Then Nicholas goes to a clearing in the woods and kills the four people he finds there. Or maybe he doesn't? This part of the game is... Whoa. Maybe he doesn't? Four people he finds there. Or maybe he doesn't? This part of the game is woefully unclear, since we never receive any independent verification of these people's existence. It's possible that he kills three people at the camp, then chases a fourth down and murders her in the mine with a pickaxe Fuck. before going back and hanging the other three from the tree. 
but there's no way to be completely sure that any of that actually oh. happened. If they are real, then they were either campers in the wrong place at the wrong time, or a team of spies, either Russian or American, looking for notes hidden by the aforementioned Agent H around Adam's property. Since these notes are almost certainly a figment of Adam's imagination, the likelihood is that these people, if they ever really existed, were just innocent mm. campers who Nicholas murdered for no good reason other than to further unhinge Adam. Then Nicholas returns to the house and breaks a window, climbs into the office, and steals Adam's code-breaking work, which he also drops next to the body at the ranger station. Then he heads back to the camp and allows Adam to take over once more. Adam wakes up in a clearing and quickly finds the camp. Inside it is a map of his property with five locations marked on it, as well as code words associated with each of those locations. Oh, I didn't he follows see that. the map and finds strange chests locked with letter-based padlocks. Which I found one of those. Unlock using the code words from the map and cipher keys painted in the environment nearby. Inside the chests are telegrams from Agent H, a former associate of Adam's who had disappeared some time earlier. The telegrams warn Adam about the Soviet practice of training people to act like Americans and then insert them into North American life decades before they're needed for any covert activity, giving them a chance to fully ingrain themselves into the government and industry before they're activated. There's no reason to believe that these notes are real. While Agent H may have been a real person who went mad with paranoia, and might even appear in the game, the likelihood that he would have built a scavenger hunt in Adam's backyard is somewhat preposterous. And just like the quantum localizer, the most probable explanation here is that these notes are figments of Adam's imagination, planted by Nicholas in order to further alienate him from Emma. Speaking of Emma, while Adam was gone, she noticed the broken glass, couldn't find Adam, and called the police for help. A deputy arrives, sees both the broken glass and the slashed tires of the family car, and feels it serious enough to be worth investigating, so he heads into the woods to follow Nicholas's trail. Once Adam makes it home, Emma explains about the police officer, and Adam, growing increasingly paranoid, notes that the police officer could have been a spy. Notably, this theory comes up in one of H's notes soon after this scene. You want to brand suggesting that there is a of Adam's mind. Adam also finds a note that Nicholas left for him, telling him to beware of sparrows, the term Russian intelligence used for women who were assigned to romance and get close to men in order to gather information from ah. them over long timelines. Once again, Nicholas has tried to manipulate Adam into turning against his wife. Adam follows Nicholas's trail through the woods, eventually leading him to a firewatch tower and ranger station. The station seems to be full of surveillance equipment and records about his comings and goings, along with a coded message suggesting that Emma is a Russian spy assigned to watch Adam. Making his way into the basement, Adam finds the dead body along with his codes in the final pages of Nicholas's diary. So, who is this dead body? The two outlandish possibilities are that A, he was a Russian spy who was actually watching Adam along with Emma. Or B, At it's him. Agent H, who knew that Russians had infiltrated the CIA and had gone into All hiding right. and decided to watch Adam Sparrows, in hopes of protecting but more colloquially Most likely known as Sparehose by the Russian intelligence community. Do you have anything else to say, Devourer? Anything else? The stage is yours. The stage is yours. You're good, thanks for asking though, this is just the body of the ranger from that firewatch tower, who managed to get caught up in Nicholas's madness. Adam reads the last set of pages, and once again Nicholas seizes control. He heads back to Hold the, the fuck up. Along with Emma. Or B... What? What is a, happening here? He was a Russian spy who was actually watching Adam Not along right. with Emma. Or also, B. you're welcome. I'm trying to understand this video game that I love with all of my heart. Don't interrupt this random YouTuber explaining it to me. This is my favorite game. I want to know. Fuck your dollars. Not right. A. I'm sorry. Fuck. You made the dog upset. It's okay, Corbin. He can't hurt you with his dollars anymore. It's okay, buddy. Oh, it's okay. He's just a big old prick. A smelly old cunt. That's what he is. 
But you're a good boy. You're a good boy. Yeah. Not right. Patted. Yeah. Good boy. All right, let's try this again. Devourer. He was a Russian spy who was actually watching. Go come. Assigned to watch Adam, making his way into Thank the you both for the Adam finds bits. the dead body along with his you coat fucking in the final cocks. pages of Nicholas's diary. So, who is this dead body? The two outlandish possibilities are that A, he was a Russian spy who was actually watching Adam along with Emma, or B, it's Agent H who knew that Russians had infiltrated the CIA and had gone into hiding and decided to watch Adam in the hopes of protecting him. Most likely, though, this is just the body of the ranger from that Firewatch Tower. Who managed to get caught up in Nicholas's madness? Ah! After the last set of pages, once again Nicholas seizes control. He heads back to the house, but on the way there, he's intercepted by the deputy, who immediately realizes that something is wrong and tries to arrest him. The two men struggle outside of the house, and the fight ends with Nicholas cutting off the deputy's head before he and the corpse fall into the well. Adam wakes up in the well, cuts himself free of the body, and then climbs out. Desperate to justify his actions to himself, he imagines that he finds evidence that the deputy was a Russian spy. In this case, a lighter with Lenin's face on one side and the Russian national crest on the other. This is, of course, a ludicrous thing for a spy to carry in America. It's hard to believe that many Russians would even own one, but it doesn't have to make sense to us. It just needs to assuage Adam's guilt for killing the cop. He heads inside the house and finds a secret room above his office. It's a tiny bedroom where Nicholas would be locked away as punishment. When he reads Nicholas's confession and sees the evidence of his abuse, Adam's last bit of resistance is broken down and Nicholas is able to possess him without Adam reading pages from the diary. Now fully in control, <coughs> Nicholas sets about tying up loose ends so that he can get away with his crimes. He knocks out Emma, breaks down the wall that leads to the torture dungeon, and then ties her to a chair inside of it. Then he goes back into the woods, retrieves the bodies of the campers, and chops them into pieces to make them easier to dispose of. He takes all of the body parts and loads them into the deputy's truck, hoping to drive them to the nearby lake and hide them there. At the end of the drive, though, Adam manages to regain control of his body and winds up crashing the truck into the lake. He escapes his near drowning and rushes back to the house to save Emma. But Nicholas has grown too powerful. He takes over Adam's body, puts on the mask he'd hidden in the house, and then goes downstairs and brutally murders Emma with an axe. What happens next is open for debate, and the game has no real interest ah. in explaining the truth. Ah. This, this is the part. This is the part of the game that is open for debate. This part. Everything else was clear cut. This this is the the contentious point where gunshots ring out near my house. Four of them. Good. Truth of the matter to the player. Either A, Adam is grabbed by Russian spies and taken to a fake hospital where they can interrogate him, or B, shortly after killing Emma, more police arrive looking for the missing deputy and arrest Adam. Whichever one is true, Adam wakes up in what appears to be a hospital suffering from memory loss. Electroshock therapy gives him access to memories of Nicholas's actions while in his body, and he's horrified by what he's done. At that point, he's left with two options. Believe that Emma and everyone else around him were spies, and that Nicholas's actions were justified, or believe that he's sick and accept treatment. No matter which the player chooses, no definitive answers are given, but in either option, the developers add a final detail designed to leave the player guessing. If Adam attacks the doctor, the doctor doesn't call out in Russian, and guards don't immediately enter to help, suggesting that he's a real doctor and this is a real hospital. If Adam accepts treatment, though, the first thing the doctor wants to ask him about is his job, which is what a spy would want. Even to the end, the developers are dead set against giving the player an easy way to answer any of their questions. You don't say! Perhaps we'll find out what the truth was if they ever get around to making the London yeah, Sense fine. sequel. It's very far away. I can barely hear him. Coming. So that's the story of The Beast Inside. Now, before we wrap this up, let's check out some of the fun random stuff I noticed while playing the game. 
Ooh, the pin and tumbler anachronism. Type that Nicholas picks in the game weren't invented until 1861 and weren't widely available for years afterwards, so they couldn't have been in an inn built in the later 1840s or early 1850s. Oh. The flat disc gramophone wasn't invented until 1887. Mm. While the blue recycling bin was invented in 1977, it wasn't used until 1983, and for a while it was a strictly Canadian thing. The game is rife with references to horror fiction, strange fiction, and fiction that the developers enjoy. I'm sure that I missed a bunch of them, but here's the ones I've found. Okay. Be sure to drop any you noticed in the comments section below the video. Ooh. The main story's twist is given away by the choice to assign the family name Hyde. No. Great God, it can't be. Great God, it can't be. To Joseph and Nicholas, referring to the strange case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. The doctor that is hired to examine and later institutionalize Nicholas is Herbert West, H.P. Lovecraft's reanimator. This pregnancy book was apparently written by Freddy Krueger's mother, Amanda Krueger. These police reports... I didn't notice that bit. I specifically looked at that book. I didn't notice it was written by Amanda Kruger. By Amanda Kruger, this there it is. The book was apparently written by Freddy Kruger's mother, Amanda Kruger. These police reports reference There Will Be Blood, listing the deputy as Paul Thomas Anderson, the director of that film. And one of the people mentioned in the report is Daniel Plainview which was the name of the main character. Crystal Lake, the body of water that Adam crashes into in the final chapter, is a reference to Jason's traditional stomping grounds in Friday the 13th. Notice that instantly. This story about someone not recognizing their family, or even themselves, is signed J. Capgrass, which is appropriate, since it's an accurate description of a brain disorder wherein people lose their ability to recognize others and think that everyone around them has been replaced with imposters. It's named after the psychiatrist, Joseph Capgrass. Grady, the hotel's janitor is named after Delbert Grady from The Shining. Ah. Speaking of The Shining, check out the carpeting in the living room. Hey, the detective yeah. is named after the main character from H.P. Lovecraft's Dreams in the Witch House, a story which also featured secrets hidden in the walls of an old house. That's it for now. I hope you've enjoyed it. There he is! It is him! That's his fucking YouTube avatar! I'm subscribing to this guy, this guy. This guy is a spooky jack-o'-lantern scarecrow doctor surgeon named the hidden object guru. Doing it. Bam. Love it. Love it. Taking this extended look at the beast inside with me. I'll see you back here for the next thing. But until then, ah. au revoir. Au revoir until the next thing. I'm excited for the next thing. Ooh, Gaming Bridge Show. This We're not going to watch this. Of Silent Hill 2. Big recommend. If you like watching long-form analysis of video game stuff, Gaming Brit Show, top-notch. Very top-notch. Silent Hill 2 is great. Silent Hill, there's a lot of Resident Evil. Ratchet and Clanks as well. Ooh. Ooh. Real high-quality stuff. YouTube reacts? No, 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 no. Not today. Not today. Maybe another day. Maybe another day. Maybe another day. Atrocity Guide? No, I don't know what that is. Did Lost in Vivo make your list, by the way? Actually, yes. I don't even remember what it is, but when I was adding a game to my maybe you should play these scary games list, uh, Lost in Vivo is one of the most recent. Scary games. I have Tall Poppy, Alyssa, Maid of Skur, Song of Horror, Pacify, Subway Midnight, and Lost in Vivo. I don't know what any of these games are. But they're on the list, so apparently I, I saw them and went, eh. So, they're there. But uh, we'll, we'll see we'll see if those ever get played on, on the channel. Well, I don't own any of them, so. All right, that's, let's listen to music that makes me happy and makes me forget the beast inside.
Alright. Let's get the fuck out of here, huh? Oh, man. I was 50-50 on uh, finishing this game tonight. I was thinking about maybe taking the rest of the night off after playing Mario Party earlier in the afternoon, but... Uh, boy, oh boy, am I glad that I'm done with that. That is... That's great. Love being just done. Done with that. Very done. Very not gonna play that game anymore ever again. Forever. For the in the next life, if there is one. As well. So, 